In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to culture shift the Timurids into Persia and form Persia in 20 odd years, getting all our unruly vassals nice and loyal before annexing them all and then going on to form one of the best nations now in the game. Yes, Persia is back, my friends, and Persia is better than ever. If you want to see a part two of this video, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. 500 likes and we'll be doing a part two. So I hope you enjoy the video, guys. And without further ado, let's get going. So here we are as the Timurids, guys. And this run does really rely quite a lot on RNG. I've already tried to record this once. And we literally got the worst RNG possible. The Shah died literally two months into the campaign. And then after the first war with a jam, we got a Regency Council. So, <laughs> yeah, not the greatest run of events. So, hopefully you can get some good RNG in your runs. But make sure you do mold yourself on your RNG and what you get there as well. And this time, the Ottomans didn't rival us. That is fantastic. We're just going to rival the Mamluks for now then. I know we're going to miss out on some power projection, but I really don't want anyone supporting these guys in their independence. That is the main thing that we do not want. We're also going to give out the mana priv privileges for all of these. Um, some of the diet and seize the crown lands, the standard approach. Now, I don't want to use any admin points because they're going to be quite valuable to us right now. Ottoman's opinion of the Timurids, at least 100. Um, yeah, that's an easy thing to do. So let's go for that. If we could get an alliance with the Ottomans at this point, that would be amazing. How about royal marriage? Absolutely not. But if we can get a good relationship with them, that's going to help us out immeasurably going forward. Generally, you tend to find either the Mamluks and Kara will rival you or the Ottomans will rival you as well. Now, in terms of the government interactions over here, we have a few different options. Now, playing as the Timurids, it's very tempting to go for this so you can get prepared for war and get all these permanent claims. But honestly, guys, you don't need those permanent claims because there's one place you want to be attacking and that's a jam so instead of that we are going to go for the liberty desire that's going to last for 20 years so that is very helpful to us straight off the black off the bat we're also going to stick all these guys on siege for now and i'm going to improve with transoxiana we're going to keep a diplomat free for the time being unless we can get any free alliances with anyone at kyunlu wood now, I'm thinking potentially Great Horde or Uzbek. I don't want to be pulled into a war with Muscovy, but the Great Horde is probably quite a good vassal against all of those guys. Or John Purr. So, yes, let's go for John Purr. Definitely a better option. A very, very powerful ally there. That should stop anyone attacking us for the time being. It's going to take us over our Diplo reps, but for now, that really doesn't matter. Let's adopt the title of the old Khalifa in there. Make sure you do not convert these places. That's why we haven't taken Enforce Religious Unity. Because if you do convert these places, it's going to be a lot harder to get them to Zoroastrian later. So if we are going Zoroastrian, let's not convert those places at all and get rid of that event. Mm, discipline. Hmm. Two juicy advisors here, to be fair. So let's go for discipline instead. Fantastic. And the Shah is amazing. 5% tech cost. Let's hope. Let's really hope that he lives a long time here, guys. <laughs> he may not, but let's hope. The Emirs, though, this is a really, really important one. We are going to go for the strong duchies, of course. So make sure you get that. You really do need that. And you need to leave a spot to get the Amir's integration policy later down the line. Now, we're also going to get the Amir's officer rights. Now, I know that's a bit of a weird one, but that will allow us to get a general. And let's see how good he is. A 1, 2, 3, 1 is actually quite decent. And for the rest of the estates for the Merchant Guilds, we're not going to get the indebted just yet, but we will get that later. So everything else, pretty standard with them. So I'm going to debase the currency once so that we can afford 
a mercenary, and we're going to go for the free company. It has nine units in there, guys, which is pretty darn decent. So we're going to get them. We're also bringing our troops across right away because we are going to start this war with a jam on the 11th of December, of course, straight away. I'm also going to placate with Transoxiana twice. I know the prestige isn't going to be very good, but their help in this war is going to be invaluable. And in terms of our general, we are not going to take the Shah because he has a much higher chance of dying being out there on the battlefield. We want him to live. So I am going to take Hussein over here rather than him. So let's get going with the war. That's allowed us to build to force limit, which gives more morale of armies. And we can also get Timurid leadership here because our liberty desire of our subjects is under 40. That's actually insane. And this gives us 400 ducats. But yeah, of course, we don't control all of that area yet. We need to take these two areas of Luristan and we should be good. We can get 400 ducats for free. Well, uh, that sounds pretty darn good, my friends, doesn't it? Now, one thing I wanted to say here, guys... This stability one, I am going to pop us up to uh, level 1 stability when I get chance. However, <laughs> if you take this mission when Transoxiana is still part of your region, you just get claims on Transoxiana, basically. Like, it's literally pointless. Don't click this. Don't, don't waste admin points trying to get that unless Transoxiana breaks away from you. We did go over the uh, deadline by three days or so, but uh, who cares about deadlines, my friends? Shervan won't join as well. Awesome. No guy will join, and Transoxiana will hopefully deal with them. But for now, we are going to set it as Kashan, I think. Nice and nearby. And then we're going to go for the war. Let's get into the war. A jam, you're going down, my friend. One thing to make sure you're always cognizant of, guys, when you're around this region is look at the supply limit. It is awful for a lot of this area because it's high in the mountains. There's also a lot of mountains and a lot of highlands. Okay, it's mainly drylands in this region, but mountains over here. Uh, so make sure you are checking the terrain and the supply limit. You don't want to have big stacks on the sieges for very long because, of course... Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna attrition to death. That's right, a jam. Run for the hills, you little pussyo. Uh maybe spoke a little bit too soon. <laughs> and now we just let, simply let our vassals go to work. No guy's gonna be a bit of an issue, but apart from them, our vassals, as long as they stay happy, as long as they stay happy. <laughs> which could change at any moment. Um, this war should be okay. It really does highly rely on RNG, guys. So make sure if you are getting really bad RNG, maybe just reload. Maybe make sure that the Shah lives for a little bit longer because it's genuinely the difference between doing this in, say, 10 years, 20 years to doing it in 30, 40 years. So it's quite a big difference. In the meantime, I'm going to be royal marrying all of the Vasali boys, making sure that we are all royal married. So they're all relatively happy, at least for now. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Does anyone else do this? I always forget that Khorasan is our vassal and even exists, to be honest. I'm sorry if you're from Khorasan, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I just forget. I just forget you exist. That's all. That's all. And finally, we can get a royal marriage with the old Ottomans. They've got their armies sieging down Fars. But like I say, it really doesn't matter if they siege down your vassals. It will, in fact, help you out with your liberty desire, which is really good at the moment. I, I just need to preface that every time. At the moment, I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> siege, 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 siege. We all fucking love sieges. We all love sieges. Sieges are oh, siege, siege. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. No. The Shah. Big Shah, Big Shah, why have you died, my friend? Why have you died? A 332 as well. Ah! Oh, no! 
That's not what we wanted to see. I mean, we can still do this, especially after we've taken these two sieges. But that's not ideal, guys. That's really, really not ideal. It's not fantastic, is it? It's not very good. It's not glorious. It's not good. It's, it's fucking terrible, really. But, 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 but. We should still be able to get a few of them happy relatively soon. So... Yeah, we just need to get a bit more economic power. Um, and a little bit more prestige. Prestige would be very, very helpful right now. And so would stability. But... Uh, I should have disinherited this guy too. But I didn't want a Regency Council. We don't want that. We really don't want that. But let's bump ourselves back up at least anyway. So the sieges are done. So we are simply just going to carpet siege the rest of the lands over here. And just carpet siege everything we can apart from this one here. Like I say, it doesn't really matter if they siege down your vassal's territory. It's obviously going to give them some war score. But it really doesn't make that much difference. In fact, it will help you with your liberty desire. Like I say. Goddamn Mazandrani Condottieri. That's filthy Mazandran. We are going for you next, you fools. Well, they've kind of left this little troop out here by themselves. So we are going to go for the cheeky old attack here. Let's see what we can do. I mean, we don't have the greatest of generals, but... And this is only a dry land, so we shouldn't really get any bonuses from this. But for now, let's get the general in here and let's attack them. Two shock for the boys. This is going to be a big one. Let's go. I probably should lead with them, but I'm impatient. <laughs> Here we go. Big battle for the boys. Let's go. What? I don't care about these trade guilds. Legalism. Yep. Let's go, boys. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice little victory. And Mazandran, do you want to know what I think about those goddamn condottieri? <laughs> I think very bad things about them in the nighttime, my friends. Very, very bad things about them. What is this shit? I don't care about this. Oh, shit. I should have kept the prestige. Oh, goddamn. But... I saw mana points minus and prestige minus and automatically click the other way, but... Mazandran, come back! We have words, my friend. We've got words. Where are you, you fool? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? So we've now pretty much sieged down their whole nation. We just need to siege down uh, this one, Karamabad, which should be pretty darn easy. We just need to get rid of these last couple of armies... And if they go for the Drylands Fort, that is absolutely fine. We shall carry on. They've got 17,000 men, so let's gather our guys together. And yes, let's attack into the fort. Hussein, Jagger here. Jahagir, you are the man. The man on a mission to kill a jam. Let's go. Big Bushka Baba. -ba. Go, 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 go. Yes. Absolutely destroyed them, actually. That was pretty darn nice. Well done, Hussein. I'm proud of you, my friend. And we still haven't found those goddamn fools that have sold their condottieri. They're kind of stuck in this region now. Good for us. How's no guy doing? I mean, no guy looks to be losing. So let's see. Can we get anything out of them? Maybe some money? 62. I mean, is there any point in waiting? Actually, there is. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, that is occupied by no guy. So for now, let's wait until that's deoccupied. There we go. And let's see whether we can get something slightly different out of them. Which... Yeah, no, we can't get any more. Still 62. So let's come back from here. Six days. And let's get no guy out of the war. That has massively helped with our war score. So that's pretty darn good. And let's finally get sieging down Karamabad over here. And ideally, we really just need a little bit of prestige. It won't be hard to bring these guys into line. So what I'm thinking is, is swapping out the uh, these guys from improving here to improving with Khorasan and Sistan. Because they look like the easiest ones to get in there. So let's go for that and then probably, I think the third is Afghanistan, right? Afghanistan's normally quite good. Yeah, so we'll go for Afghanistan as the third. And hopefully we won't have to use 
quite as much prestige. Well, we can't have them re-sieging back all of this land, so let's get going. Let's get rid of them. I think we should be good enough to destroy them, even if we aren't fully done. Let's con concentrate the boys. Make sure we're all ready for the combat. This, I think, is all the troops that they have left, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get rid of them and stop them sieging that down. Where was the war goal? It was Kashan. God damn it. We needed to stop them taking that. But let's go across here. Let's destroy that Ajami army. The Jammy army. Destroy the Jammy boys. That is a full stack wipe. Very nice. So they really don't have much left, do they? I love how the whole kingdom of a jam, like all their hopes, are now just on Ardalan. And <laughs> glorious Ardalan and its single province and its three troops. Oh, glorious. All of a jam's hopes lie on their shoulders. I'm kind of surprised they haven't decided to, uh, you know, um, unconditionally surrender yet, but uh, <laughs> oh, they're, just, they're just delaying the inevitable, but it would be nice. Please, game, please. Siege, 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 seven percent, seven percent, no! Come on now, a jam. Surely it's time. Surely it's time. So we're going to take these two provinces here. We're also then going to go for pretty much everything else. We definitely want to be bordering Kara. That is one of the main things we want. We also want all of the Persian provinces. So if you have a look back, you can see Persian goes up to here. And then it's Uri. And then in the top, it's Azerbaijani. So we want to take all of the Persian provinces possible in there too. So let's go back on to this. And yeah, you can see we're taking all of the Persian provinces. Now, I would quite like to come down this way. So maybe we'll get rid of Semnan. And yeah, that's not quite enough. So maybe Isfahan. So we're going to go for that at least for now. I feel like that's a pretty good... No, because we want the Persian provinces here. So as much as I want to be bordering Kara, we will be bordering Kara up here in Tabriz. So that's not a problem at all. We also want to border a mole because we need a mole to form Persia. So I feel like this is a pretty darn good peace deal. So let's get it out of the way. Let's also take, you know, as much money. 37 gold. That's not too bad, you know. It's not too bad. But we also did take a single loan before this started. So I didn't take the burger loans. I just took a single loan to get the free company. So let's get that peace deal in there. And now it's time to culture convert. The bit we've all been waiting for, guys. The culture conversion. So when you are doing this, first of all, let's check. We've got 28% Persian. So it's about a third of our country. Nearly a third of our country is Persian. So that is 28%. We need to get this above 50%. So we would probably need about another 15 to 20... No, sorry, about 30 development more to get up to Persian by developing. So we are not going to do that. Because if we have a look at our lands here that are Persian, these lands specifically down here, 73. Even with the edicts on, they are going to be so expensive to develop because they are highlands, mountains, drylands, all that sort of thing. So we really don't want to do it that way. We're going to do it by stating instead. So Isfahan is already a state. So then we're also going to state Iraq e Ajam, which has a couple of Persian provinces in. Actually, all the Persian provinces that are ours. We are not going to concentrate because it's going to take the culture to our capital, which is not Persian. So we want to do that. And let's just check these if they have any Persians in them. No, they don't. This is Azerbaijani, I believe. Yes. So we want to take that as Persian. Let's now check back on here. 41% now. That is fantastic. That is really, really good. So what I'm going to do is unstate this territory here. It's going to cost us 116 to call that back up. So this is the issue with this one, with this method of doing it. So let's now have a look. 46%. I wonder whether we can do it just with Kabulistan. That's only th three developments. So I think, no, we're going to have to do it up here in Kutalan. So it's slightly cheaper to get that up. 
49%. This should put us over the edge, surely. Surely. Come on, guys. Come on. There we go. 50%. So now it's going to cost us 101 Diplo power to do this because not 100 because of our slight bit of corruption um, and maybe inflation. Uh, I think it's corruption, isn't it? Uh, that affects this. But yeah, we're going to click this button and we're going to cultural shift to Persian. And now we'll see if we look across here, per form the Persian nation is available. So we do need to take Amol or Shiraz. So that's going to be this region here. So we're going to get a claim on that ASAP. And we also need to make sure that all our vassals, as well as Loristan, Ardalan, and I believe... Uh, Ardabil, maybe as well? No, just Ardalan and Loristan, and then all of all our, our vassals and a jam need to die. So that's not going to be too hard to do. It's just going to take a few years. But for now, we're going to focus on sorting out this a little bit. So we're going to go in here and placate Khorasan. We're also going to look for any debts. So Fars has debt, 65 of debt. That's actually really good for us. Anyone else got any debts? Afghanistan does not. How about Sistan? No. Transoxiana, they're the scariest one. 209 gold. So I am kind of considering getting some loans just to pay this off. Because that's really going to help with our liberty desire. And of course, we are going to try and placate as much as possible these guys. Try and get them happy for uh, as quickly as as possible but for now we just need to wait around a little bit until we get our claim on mazandran and then we can keep on expanding now remember the more land we take the stronger we are going to be in respect to these vassals but of course we need to make sure that we are integrating these vassals as quick as possible guys as quick as possible because the main issue here for these vassals is the relative army power so that is really, really bad for us. So we need to keep on making sure we are up to the land force limit or near it and staying there. So we project that, um, you know, image of power at least. Not necessarily the truth, but the image of power that they think that we are actually powerful. So uh, yeah, let's get all of these guys up to there and then the free company can go in there. And now we have culture shifted. We can now, of course, do this. Now, with, with uh, Persian, you can see the only thing that's not Persian is Khaliji, which, yeah, it doesn't really matter. If we look at stating these places, so we'll state those back in a second, but the new places that we've got, we don't need to concentrate because, of course, we are stating cores already, so it's not going to cost us anything, and Azerbaijani is accepted, so that is fantastic. Now we're going to core up these, sorry, state up these, and then recore them again. I'm going to keep them unconcentrated for now. If you want to reduce the admin cost of doing this, you can concentrate in this state, for example, but it shouldn't be too much. You can see it's not that bad. Only, you know, <laughs> half of our admin points, but it's not, it's not that bad. I promise, guys. I promise it doesn't hurt pressing that button at all. And now you can see instantly, now that we've uh, got all those states, these guys are all back to loyal apart from Transoxiana. So we are really going to focus on Transoxiana and trying to get them happy, at least. And now instantly with that war, we're up to 10% crown lands already, which is insane. That is really, really good after that first war. So fantastic. For now, I'm going to pop the army maintenance down a little bit, just in case we have some rebellions. Yeah, if they're in if they're in our other territories, that really doesn't matter to me. Our vassals can deal with them. Like, I'll let them do that. <laughs> and getting better military tech is really going to help us out, keeping our vassals in check. So Transoxiana was just disloyal so let's wait a month and see whether they're loyal next month and look at that from 60 percent to 30 percent guys that's actually insane but that is fantastic that has really really helped us out so hopefully they're going to stay loyal for a little bit longer <laughs> we're also going to make sure that we are reducing the autonomy in all of the regions that we can it's going to produce a few rebels but with the amount of vassals that we have that should not be a problem 
whatsoever, especially in all this land that was just free cores. It's fantastic to get a load of autonomy down. That should really help with our economy and build us up a little bit more. Oh, look at the vassals going and taking out the rebels. That's what we like to see, guys, isn't it? That's what we like to see. But anyway, we are nearly ready to declare war on Mazandran to take Amol. That is going to be very tasty indeed. So let's get that done in here. Take Amol. Now, Mushasha is their ally right now. But they will pull in Kara Kuyunlu. I mean, if I pull in Kara, how many people is that? Bitlis, Karabakh, and Jilan. Hmm. I would prefer a very easy war, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but then again, it's still going to be quite a while before we can form Persia because we've got to integrate everyone. So, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting choices. I think we won't co-belligerate Mushasha for now. But that war against Kara should not be that difficult and... Yeah, I think we'll do that separately so we can take as much as we want from Kara. So we managed to get to the level 3 fort before it got any more people in. It was still just a level 1. That is glorious. That is glorious, my friends. Although we still have a few issues, we are going to back off with some of our damaged troops and our cavalry. So let's back off with these boys and make sure that we are not taking attrition when we don't need to. And with the rebel army, we are going to go straight for Mushasha. And because, of course, we have loyal subjects, we'll actually get support in this war, guys. Glorious. So we've pretty much taken out Mazandran. So we just need to take out Mushasha a little bit more and then we'll be good. I'm going to chill with our main army so they can recover some of their manpower, of course. And I just wanted to say, like, this run does really, a lot of the time, really does depend on that RNG you get. I mean, in our other run, the run I did previously, we were sat in the 1460s in a Regency Council, not able to do any of this. So if you get that bad RNG and you want to be a little bit quicker, you can either fight your way through it or, of course, reload. <laughs> that old F4 is there for a reason, guys. <laughs> So we just used our piety interaction for legalism. So now we're going to try and go the other way because manpower at the minute is something we're really struggling with. Like economy, we're actually decent. We're making full return. We've got a single loan that we are very close to being able to pay off to. So we are decent on our economy at the moment while all of these guys are loyal because they're paying us so much money. But... Yeah, manpower is a big issue, and that's also a reason why we've got the free company. So we're going to bring these guys back over here. And I am just, you know, trying to claim all of this region here as quick as possible before any of the bigger nations, like maybe Kara, decides to gobble it up. <laughs> so because we didn't co-belligerate uh, Mushasha, we actually cannot do too much to them. If we take this land... Look how expensive it is and how much aggressive expansion we get. So what I'm going to do is just get a cheap peace deal with them to start with. And we're going to get that nice little cheap peace deal in there. And we're just going to get a load of cash from them too. And then in terms of Mazandran, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You are gone, my friends. You're gone. You're gone. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. There we go. Fantastic. Now we have them all. Glorious. So instead of just standardly approving uh, with these guys, Bayapas, instead of that, we've given them an alliance. We are going. We've given them a royal marriage. We're going to offer them. In, we're going to offer them military access as as well, of course. And we're also going to send them a gift. And then we pretty much will be at 190. We might need to improve a tiny bit, but it's really not very much. So it's a lot quicker than waiting to improve all the way to 190. And we can scornfully insult one of their rivals. So I think we'll go for Jilan because we are going to attack them very soon, even though they are, you know, allied with Kara. So let's attack them. Let's get Jilan in there. Let's also send that scornful insult. And that should really help Bayapas like us. So let's now have a look. Yeah, up to 200, nice and easy, in a few months, rather than, you know, like a couple of years. 
But we are going to have to wait a little bit because goddamn Bayapas has been called into a war against Trebizond by Akkuyunlu, who is half occupied by rebels right now. Sounds like a good war. I hope you don't get military access so that that can become a problem. Here we go, guys. So we are going to go for a war with Kara, and we're going to co-belligerate Kara as well because there's a few provinces we might want to take from them, namely either Georgia. No, Georgia is gone. So, yeah, Georgia already has those provinces. So we might either want, you know, something up here for Armenia or something down here for Iraq. Very likely Iraq and both of them, actually. But we shall see. We've got one more year until we can start integrating. So who do we want to integrate first? And I'm thinking we just go for Sistan first because it's really small. Transoxiana is a little bit upset, so we're going to placate them. We may need to do that a little bit more just because I am going to give out the Emir's integration policy. So we will do that when we start, but it's 15% extra liberty desire for the old subjects there. So who do we want to integrate first? I am thinking we want to integrate very small and either go Afghanistan or Sistan. So let's go for Sistan, I would say. Here we go then, guys. And we can actually co-belligerate Ardable as well. So because they have no other allies. So we might as well take Ardable in the process. Haven't managed to quite get a claim but it saves us a diplomat anyway, so that's fine. So, and taking this land is not going to be a problem for most people. So, let's get on with the war. Should be nice and easy, but let's see. We may have had a couple of bad battles, guys. So, uh, I think it's time for the Grand Company. Let's go. Time for the March of the Mercenaries, my friends. So, let's get forward. Ideally, I would like them to attack us in the mountains here, but... We might have to go and just force them backwards. Luckily, we've got Transoxiana loyal now with those extra mercenaries. And we're just going to leave our absolutely battered army <laughs> behind for now. So my issue now is I want to get rid of Sistan. I want to annex Sistan. But I can't give out the Amir's integration until Transoxiana is slightly lower with their liberty desire. So either we've got to win this war quickly take all the land we want. Oh, hello at Kionlu. Look, sorry, Kara Kionlu. Looks like you're not having the greatest of times right now. You might want to go and deal with that, my friend. <laughs> well, we need to kind of rush for an Iraqi province then. Kirkuk over here would be good. But I don't want to leave these sieges, so we might have to use this unit over here that was there specifically for not doing this. But we can actually rush for Kirkuk now. Very good indeed. Um, but yeah, we need to get Transoxiana slightly down. So we either need a little bit more prestige from a few battles, etc. Or we need, um, of course, just a little bit better army. Or them to do a few battles. And then we can give it out. Because I don't want them going home during this war. More sieges. More sieges everywhere. Come on, you can do it. We've not even breached a single wall yet. Fantastic. That's what we love to see. <laughs> wow, the Mamluks are just going absolutely ham on them. So I'm hoping they'll only take Raba. But yeah, we don't want a Mamluk snake over into Persia, do we, my friends? <laughs> that would not be good as Akkiyunlu is getting absolutely destroyed by the Ottomans as well. Hmm, interesting development. Right, Ardabil is now ours, so let's take that, get rid of that stain on the old map. That also means we can kind of snake our way up here, but it depends. This, yeah, this is just Ardabil land, so I want to take the Armenian cause here to get all those. Uh, it would be nice if Georgia would want to be our vassal or Shervan as well, but yeah, Bayapas... Mm, do we even want to do this anymore? I mean, we're going to have to. We've locked that choice in. But that should allow us to maybe feed them a couple of uh, couple of provinces up here. Not amazing, but I think Armenia and Iraq are going to be the vassals that we really do want. Hmm, a little early for uh, 
Ottoman Ottoman troops to be marching through our lands, don't you think, guys? A little early for this. So although we can't get the uh, Amir's integration policy just yet, just yet, I am going to start integrating Sistan. And when it gets to the end, we're going to do everything we can, including piecing people out, to get enough prestige to get rid of them. If we can't get rid of Transoxiana being below 35%, then we're just going to do the inter uh, we're just going to put the Amir's integration policy in there and leave it be for the time being because they're in a war with us should be okay oh looks like a unconditional surrender so let's see what we can get out of the um Kara Kuyunlu apparently nothing so we're going to continue this war until we can at least get a little bit out of them so what do we want out of Kara? I'm thinking we want that. We want a relatively short piece with them that's shorter than the Mamluks at least. So yeah, I think they're just going for the Syrian land though. I do really want to release Afghanistan. So I can't take that though because they've taken this. They are very much blocking us, but I don't think we can wait much longer. So Tabriz, you can release just Tabriz. Well, we'll take Tabriz for ourselves. Then we'll take Nakjivan over here for Armenia to release Armenia. And then in the meantime, we'll probably just take this little corner up here. It will also allow us, without getting that Iraqi vassal, you know, it's going to allow us to at least... Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's go with that. There we go. Um, so without getting that Iraqi vassal, it's at least going to allow us a little bit of time to annex some of our other vassals in the meantime. So for now, we're going to go for this. We're also going to get some cash out of them if we can. Ideally, I wanted some extra prestige, but 77 is a long time for peace anyway. So do you know what? We don't really need this land. So 59, how long is that peace deal going to be? 1467, so 11 years. Can we wait that long? I mean... In the meantime, we can maybe go after Mushasha. That we really can't wait that long. So I tell you what, we're just gonna take Nakjavan. And although, who else are these guys allied to? Actually, no one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if they ally someone, we should be able to attack them pretty easily afterwards. But yeah, we'll take that for now. And can we get some nice juicy prestige for free? For some cheap war score. Five for ending the rivalry with the Mamluks. It's not worth it for the extra for the extra time. So let's just take the money and let's take Nakjavan. Now, I know some of you would just take everything you can, but I feel like this deal, 1465, so nine years, is going to be a lot better for us in the long run. Because if we can attack them again before, say, the Ottomans or the Mamluks again, they're all going to be gobbled up by us aren't they? In fact, let's go for that. That's 1466. Yeah, I think that's acceptable. We'll take Melikartes. Actually, no, we'll go for Shervan instead, so we can go up to Dagestan. That's again April 1466. So let's take this deal now. Only three and a half prestige, which isn't ideal, <laughs> but that's fine. And then Jilan over here. Goodbye, my friend. Sayonara. Any more prestige. Another three prestige from that. But again, it's not an amazing amount of prestige. Well, let's pop that in for now. And there we go. Oh, it went to Bayapas. So now can Bayapas become a vassal? Yes, good. They can. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> that was dumb. But let's offer them vassalage too. And that makes Transoxiana instantly unhappy with us. Glorious. But there was one thing we wanted to do. This is why... I wanted to take the money. Let's pay off their debt. Oh my god, how much debt did you get into, Transoxiana? That is not ideal, my friends. Biapas is also slightly unhappy, but we'll get them happy very soon. So now let's give out the Amir's integration policy. We're also on about zero prestige. So we can afford to maybe make Fars happy. And then with our other diplomats, we're going to go straight in for Transoxiana because there's no guarantee they're going to be happy forever. Sistan is also nearly... Oh, Sistan's just popped over the line. So we definitely need to either get a few more troops 
or get a bit more economic base, which I think we can do by lowering our autonomy in a few places. There we go. Let's do that. Definitely over here. Ishavan as well. Go to Bach and Amol. There we go. Fantastic. Let's also core up everything we can. Yes, we're going to be very far behind on admin tech, guys. 100%. How has that helped? There we go. That has helped put Sistan back below. So the next one we're going to do is Transoxiana, just because it's going to take so darn long. Hmm, what do we want to do here? Whatever. Corruption isn't too bad. Uh, he says famous last word. That's 14... August 1457. Wow, that's, oh, because of the cores. Yes, glorious. Very good. So we're going to just try and get everyone annexed as much as possible. Coruscant, are you at 200? Yeah, how is your, yeah, 36%. That should be plenty. So let's annex them too. That's also going to be 1456. We're going to tank through our Diplo power, but that really, really doesn't matter. And there we go. Coruscant was a single month. So that should really help with our Liberty Desire. In fact, it does quite a bit apart from Biapas. So then we're going to go for Fars. We just definitely need to get them um, improving with them very, very quickly. Because, of course, they get minus 30 from us annexing another subject. So we did get this Indian raid mission from having an army equal or larger than 40,000, which is pretty good. And it gives us some permanent claims in India. Now, we won't really get these claims if we decide to move to Persian. Straight away, we'll lose those permanent claims. So I very much am thinking about just going straight into Delhi, getting jean Per involved. 65 versus 14,000. We really, we, we can't turn that down, my friends. So let's go. Let's mold ourselves on the RNG and let's get going. So they do have allies in Bengal and Sindh as well, which is over here. I wouldn't mind taking a little bit of this land for the trade in Gujarat. But for now, I think we just go for this land. So I'm not going to co-belligerent these guys because you can see by doing so, we are bringing in actually Bengal doesn't matter, but are we going to take stuff from Bengal? <laughs> no, <laughs> but jean Per, let's take that. Also, Afghanistan does have cores here, so we could give this all to Afghanistan and then integrate them pretty darn quickly afterwards, but that would save some of our admin, so let's do that instead, and hopefully we can just take an absolute swathe of territory here. Let's call in jean Per and let's get going. I've made sure Scootage is enabled for Transoxiana and Sistan so we can keep integrating them. In fact, I'm also going to do it for Fars as well. They are going to be the next target. So let's make sure Fars can be integrated. Let's enable Scootage there so we can actually integrate them very soon. And I'm going to, once we've declared the war, improve relations with them and hopefully we'll be good. Let's get into this war, guys. Should be nice and quick and fun. And there goes Transoxiana and Sistan all in one go, guys. So that's actually really going to help us out because what I'm going to do is replace some of our troops with these troops because they've got a lot more men in. So let, let's uh, concentrate all our troops here. Get rid of all the ones with zero. So there we go. Let's get rid of those boys. And that's going to save us a lot of manpower. And we're also going to concentrate here. There we go. 901 in one. That's fine. How far over the force limit are we now? Yeah, 55 out of 47. Yeah, our economy doesn't like that too much. But we can also concentrate here fully too. There we go. Now what are we on? 54. That's lost one. And we've got these two units. Let's get rid of them. That's 52 out of 47. So we need to get rid of five still. I think we get rid of some cavalry. We don't need as much cavalry as this. So let's get rid of five cavalry. Expensive as cavalry is. Uh, we can't disband it there. We'll get rid of them. And we'll get rid of this rebel. So there we go. Oh, look at this guy. 
Oh, I didn't even see. We got this guy from an event, I think, but he's pretty darn good. <laughs> nice. What a Chad Lord. So let's state all of Transoxiana. It's all pretty much... I think Uzbek is an accepted culture. It is an accepted culture. That's fantastic. So let's accept that. I am not going to concentrate because all this is cause, so it doesn't actually matter. We're not going to spend any more admin points than we would otherwise. So good. In fact, we're not going to spend any admin points at all. So that is fantastic. As you can see, I haven't called Nakjavan because... Yeah, we're releasing Armenia from there at some point. At some point. I got a little bit too excited with our war for India. <laughs> Should have released them earlier. But, you know, we make those mistakes so you guys don't have to, don't we? <laughs> I am so tempted to take this now. Just because I want to get rid of our mercenary companies. Especially now that they've got a little bit killed. <laughs> Wasn't me. I promise, guys. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, I really do want to take that because that's going to make us so strong. I know it's such a waste of ad of points. 696. Oh. You know what? We're going to take it ahead of time. We're going to take it ahead of time. Stay on the line with the tech. And hopefully that will allow us to just absolutely demolish these guys in India. I don't think they want to uh, fight this army anymore now we've taken that tech, guys. <laughs> Look at them go. Go on, keep running, men. Keep running. Keep running. We'll catch you, I promise. We will catch you. Let's watch this destruction with our really good general as well. Three-star general. Nice. There we go. Fantastic. Easy victories for the boys. Hopefully, that will allow Bengal to want to come out of the war. There. Fantastic. Good. Good. Let's get rid of that guy in Afghanistan then. There we go. Can we take anything from them? No. Minus five. But I just want them out anyway. I think we'll take that. And we're not going to give it to Afghanistan at the moment. Just because I want to, of course, uh, annex those boys very, very quickly. So it's going to be 53 aggressive expansion. But we are fine. So let's take this peace deal. We've got enough admin for now, but uh, yeah, that is fine. Can actually take a little bit more land. So let's get that. 96 gold as well isn't too bad. We have no loans at the minute, guys. So that's fantastic. Timurid, Hindustan, glorious to see. Let's get back into our lands and finally begin to annex our last two little guys. We've got to wait till 63 until the Ajam uh, curse is over. They're allied with Karaman. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow, that's going to be hard. But anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's get back into our lands and let's stabilize a little bit. We've been going a little bit crazy, so let's stabilize for a little bit. And before I forget, no, 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 oh, no, Armenia, my friend. Why have you done this to me? We waited so long. I guess this is what I get. This is what I get for forgetting to do this. They definitely won't accept vassalization. But let's have a look around. Anyone else want to be our vassal in this area? Maybe Hisan Kaifa, actually. That's better than, you know, conquering this land anyway. And they're a bit of a blocker to the Ottomans too. But while we can, let's get our alliance with the Ottomans in there as well. Because although we're going to come to war with them at some point, for now... We are going to try and use them against the Mamluks later down the line. I tell you what, we can release Punjab from in here and just give them Kashmir and Jammu. And then we've got a few more cores on Delhi to take from them and Multan as well. So that's quite a good option, I think. Because otherwise we're going to have to wait until we can annex um, Afghanistan. Or, I mean, I could just give it to Afghanistan. I just don't want to make the annexation really long. So let's go with Punjab for now, and I'll grant them those two provinces as well. So now we have annexed Fars. We can get that 400 ducats for free. That's pretty darn nice, I'm not going to lie, guys. And how is Kara still at war? They're at war with Hiss and Kaifa now. Looks like Kara is really starting to fall apart. I'm also going to be building a fort in Fasa here because it's in the mountains and it pretty much covers all of this land 
around here. So no one can walk through this way without our permission. I did delete the fort in Merv because there's no point in it. I'm going to keep the one in Bakara for now. But that's mainly just in case. Uzbek or no guy. Uh, we go to war with them. Oh my god, no guy. Oh, pretender rebels are not very happy with you, my friend. <laughs> Honestly, it's just rebel munching time right now. We've got Afghanistan to take down. I do want to do another couple of quick wars very quickly in the middle before we attack a jam. They are only allied to Karaman. But yeah, we might as well get those walls out of the way then and get rid of Karabakh in here. They are... Oh, how long is that truce with Karabakh then? Karabakh. 1466. So actually not too long. How about Armenia? No truce, of course. So let's build the spy network up there and go around it that way. Oh, Ottomans, you think you're quite big, mate? Have you seen the size of my name on the map? Have you seen the size of my name? It's fucking huge, mate. Tiny, just don't look up here. Just, just don't look at that. It's just, it's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. Our name's big. Yes, it's big. Not quite as big as that one, but yes, it's, it's big. It's big. You're all right. You're all right, Timurids. Don't worry. It's big enough, okay? It's big enough. It's big enough. And a new ruler who's a 5 Diplo and a 3 mil. Oh my god, a 114. You are kidding me. Goodbye. <laughs> so Afghanistan is gone, my friends. Gone from the map. It has been annexed and it is one more thing to do. One more thing to do and it is attack a jam. So we need to wait till 63, I believe. The annoying thing with these guys is, like, they never got any alliances in this area, so I could never break the truce with them to reset the truce timer. But, yeah, it's fine. We've been doing other things, really, haven't we? So, uh, yeah, it's been fine. We've managed to stay stable as well, which is the main thing. Why are you walking in there with no morale, Afghanistan? I have no idea, but fine. <laughs> Well, while we're waiting, let's get rid of Shervan because they have no allies, so it's pretty much free real estate, isn't it, boys? Let's go. Let's get into the fight there. Let's just go straight through to kill their army, and then we'll siege them down. I feel like at this point, we need an army constantly taking out rebels, so yeah, we're, we're pretty unstable right now. And we only have zero stability, but I'm going to bump that back up to one so we can start getting prosperity. But yeah, lots of separatism, lots of scary people in our nation. Hopefully this is all going to change when we become Persia. Oh, hey, and we've got ships. <laughs> I didn't even realize this. Good job that they're actually doing stuff. I mean, galleys, I'll keep them for now. But we've actually got trade ships. Yay. I didn't even realize. I'm paying lots of attention. <laughs> There we go, guys. A nice, easy war. Only a couple of months. So let's get this guy back from Armenia in a couple of months, actually. We'll leave everyone else, all the diplomats in there. Doesn't matter if we go another couple of months. Come back from Armenia. And then we shall send that. Then let's... Oh, Ottomans. You, don't... you do know how to break a man's heart, don't you, Ottomans? Thanks for that. That's great. Um, literally just as we were about to attack them. But I guess we should have been quicker. <laughs> oh, you got to hate the Ottomans in this game, don't you? <laughs> they are absolute bastards. I say that, but look at Austria go. Do you have Hungary as your... Yes, you do. Hmm. So when the Ottomans become a problem, maybe it's time for the Unholy Alliance with the Austrians and the Hungarians. <laughs> I don't get this, Mamluks. I really don't. I don't like it. But anyway, so a couple more months and we can attack a jam. Finally, finally, we are there, guys. Let's get rid of them. We need to fully annex them, of course. So let's get into this war. I don't care about Caraman. So, yep, fine, whatever. And let's get straight in there. Go straight for Ardalan. Why is, is Luristan not in this? Wow, we have to declare war on them separately. Well, that's fun. 
thank you, Luristan. Who are you allied with? Bitless and Basra. Uh, well, Basra's there. Um, Bitless is up here. So, I guess that's fine. Just slows us down slightly. Here we go. A big battle. We're going to take a few losses in here because we're going to get a crossing penalty. But we should have better tech than them, and we've shown it. Wow. That was pretty darn easy. Let's come into here, and I don't think there's going to be... Oh, they're, they're just melted. Oh, fantastic. That's great. That's great to see. Ottomans, stay away. This is rightful... Well, well, actually, this is rightful Persian land. And like I said, if you want to see part two of this, guys, where we take on the Mamluks and the Ottomans as a Zoroastrian Persia, then 500 likes and we will do a part two. So make sure you do like the video if you've got this far, guys, if you've got this far. God damn you, Caraman, adding so much length to this war that doesn't need to be there. You absolute bastards. Hopefully a jam unconditionally surrenders, but I guess we'll find out. Now for this one, this time we are going to go for the manpower. We could also get 174 ducats though. Hmm, I don't really have much to spend the ducats on at the minute, though, unless we get the manpower. So, I think it's still better. Let's go for the manpower. Core creation cost as well. That'll help us out in our future wars with the old Ottomans. Oh, so we just granted a general from the Emirs. And there we go. A 3-6. We've got a 4-5 and a 3-6 now. Oh, tasty little meatballs there, guys. Oh, are you fucking joking me? A one, two, five. Oh. <laughs> At least I got five mil skill. But yeah, we're so far on admin. We need we need a good admin guy. No, not a good diplo guy. Come on. I feel like this guy may need to die very soon as well. <laughs> right, Caraman, you absolute bastards. You have delayed this war for well too long. So let's get rid of you. And let's fully annex a jam. And that should allow us to instantly go to war with Lorita Loristan. And then we will be done with the requirements for Persia, my friends. And we can form the big green boy. And I'm not talking about the Ottomans. <laughs> and finally, let's make Basra into a vassal. But first of all, let's get our armies out of there so we don't get stuck. Let's go. There we go. Fantastic. We'll make Bazaar into a vassal. We'll use that to attack Mushasha. Only 23. 16 aggressive expansion. Not bad at all. We'll take all the cash we can. And then finally, let's get rid of Loristan. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it, my friends? Let's wait for that Diplo. There we go. Get rid of that. Nice. Fantastic. Let's core that up. And let's have a look. Form the Persian nation. Yes, here we go. Fantastic, my friends. Is there any cheap things that we can do right now? 80,000 army? Probably not. Conquer Punjab. I mean, we tried. We conquered most of it. We should have just taken Doab uh, as well to get that. What would have that given us? Uh, not too... Shock damage is pretty good for 25 years, to be fair. But for now... Let's form Persia, boys. It is done. Oh, look at that lovely green color. Fantastic. I love to see that. New traditions and ambitions. Absolutely, my friends. Absolutely. And as Persia, we now get the Kizibash over here. They are like a Shia militia, which is another one. And you can get loads of different things around them, which gives you, you know better regiments, all that sort of thing. Kind of like the Streltsky or anything like that. Any national decisions we can go to Iran, but no, we are going to stay as Persia, of course. And yes, we've got plenty of new missions here. We've got our religious uh, direction, which we are going to choose right now. And that is going to be if we can get a... Okay, we cannot get a theologian or anything like that for now. So we're going to have to sell, uh, get rid of these guys and hope that it comes up. 
But there are some awesome missions in here which make Persia really, really cool. 100 provinces owned in India. Look at that. You get so many different bonuses. Tolerance of heathens plus one is crazy. Loads of different good missions in here. I am fucking fuming! Mega, mega fucking fuming! If we get the legacy of Timur in here, we get core creation cost minus five, monthly autonomy change, and years of separatism minus ten. And we get the state of conquerors decision as a government, me government mechanic as well, which is amazing. We also have this subjugate Egypt over here, which gives us Mamlukian administration, which gives governing capacity modifier plus 10% as well, even though it gives influence, but it also allows the Kizilbash and the Gilmans to do this. So I don't know whether you can stack it three times, but that would be amazing if we can do that. We get another privilege for the Kizilbash in here that gives infantry combat ability plus 10, which is insane. And along with that, we get loads more good government mechanics and all that sort of thing around the Kizzle Bash. So yes, this mission tree is insanely good. And if you want to see this, guys, 500 likes and we'll do a part two. Persia is a juicy big boy right now, isn't he? He's a big Persian boy. But we've got a scary big green boy very close to us. Their color is too similar to ours, and that is the reason why we are going to kill them next episode if you get us to 500 likes, like I say. But I hope you have enjoyed this run, guys. It has been insanely fun. I really do like Persia. It is a very fun nation now in the King of Kings DLC. So if you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be highly appreciated. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always, and I will see you all again on the next video.